What is your name, please? My name is Hunter Thompson. My name is Hunter Thompson. My name's Hunter Thompson. Follow along with your copies of this one, if you will, please, panel. I, Hunter Thompson, am a writer. Recently, I spent over a year living in close contact with a notorious California motorcycle gang called the Hells Angels. I found the Hells Angels to be an elite organization of outlaws and hoodlums whose philosophy is violence. They dress in filthy leather or denim jackets with their insignia on the back, a winged skull wearing a motorcycle helmet. Although I never actually became a member, for over a year I drank with the Hells Angels, talked with their leaders, and recorded their involvement with dope. I watched them terrorize and intimidate communities as they roared through the streets on stripped-down motorcycles called chopped hogs. My time spent with this gang came to an abrupt and violent close after an argument with a group of Hells Angels. They knocked me down and stomped me. I ended up in the hospital. But I had this story, which is the basis of my new book, called simply, Hell's Angels. Signed, Hunter Thompson. <laughs> and these three gentlemen all claim to be Hunter Thompson. Let's start the cross-examination with Peggy Cass. Peggy? Thank you. Um, see, when I saw you up there, I thought they looked like Hell's Angels. Number one, uh, are they involved with LSD, the Hell's Angels? Very definitely, yes, ma'am. Th thank you. And number three, uh, did you, were you with the Hell's Angels in Los Angeles? No. Oh. Where? San Francisco. Thank you. Good. Number two, who is the author that sort of leads the kind of the LSD sex out there in, in, in San Francisco? Uh, Ken Kesey. Thank you. Uh, number three, do you know him? Ken Kesey, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, number one, uh, are the Hells Angels kind of a club? Yes, ma'am. Two, do they pay dues? Number two? Yes, they do. Well, number three, you know, we had them in New Hampshire. Did you ever hear about that? The Hells Angels weren't in New Hampshire. That's what we thought they were. Boy, they went down with bicycle chains. They were... <laughs> Barry Nelson. Uh, number two, approximately how many members do the Hell Angels have? It varies anywhere from, I'd say, 100 to 200. Well, where do they get their income? Oh, some of them work. Some of them are petty thieves. Some of them are... Number one, uh, how, uh, why do you think uh, that they are so difficult to deal with? What is the underlying factor have they found? In? Well, basically, they feel that they're uh, not wanted by the rest of the world. They're outcasts. And they, they have a chip on their shoulder. Number uh, three, what's the best way of dealing with the problem? With the Hells Angels? Yes. Dealing with them? Why? There aren't so many of them. Why is it so difficult? Uh, well, it's... It's hard to say. Don't I, they break a lot of laws? Why, uh, aren't they enforced? Uh, not really. The only really laws that they break are, oh, speeding infractions more than How anything How do young else. people feel? All right. <coughs> Kitty Carlisle. Number three, you said you came from uh, San Francisco. What is the Haight-Asbury um, district? That's the, basically the beatnik section. Uh, number two, who is Gut in the Hells Angels? Uh, he's sort of a... A drifter, a folder. Thank you. Number one, uh, what is Kesey's uh, group called? Uh, they're scavengers. They, uh, they, they use various names to keep themselves out, outside the law, really. Number three, there's a big piece in the Trib last, summer, last Sunday about a fellow who was with this group a long time. Do you know his name? Which group? The Hells Angels. With the group? Yeah. Uh, yes, Never it was myself. Uh, number two, uh, the Merry Pranksters gave a party for the Hells Angels. Were you there that lasted two days? Yes. Uh, where did it take place? Tom Poston. House. Did you hear about the musician who was on LSD? He decided to throw himself on the ground and missed. <laughs> <laughs> I have to thank Leonard Lyons for that. Number two, what is, what is iron? What does a motorcyclist refer to as iron? What is iron? No, what is iron? What does a motorcyclist call iron? Iron is a nickname for a motorcycle. It's a term. Oh, there I, thought, no I thought it was like, uh, isn't it? Number one, don't, they, don't motorcyclists call uh, cars iron, automobiles iron? Motorcyclists refer to iron as their motorcycle. That's their, as machine. Their, motorcycle That's their machine. OK, number three, do those cats have a lot of broken legs and broken thighs and broken knees and things? In... There are a few broken bones, yes. Number two, would you say that they're brave uh, fellas? Uh, 
uh, uh, uh, daredevilish and so forth, or are they just kind of bullies and tough? I'll let you answer that quickly. Oh, uh, yeah, they're brave fellows. It's... That's all we have time for. It's time for you now to mark your ballot. So mark them immediately without change, without any consultation whatsoever. Vote now, please, panel, for number one, number two, or number three. All right, Tom, for whom did you vote? I voted for number two, bud. I, I thought he was a nice, likable fellow. And if I were a Hell's Angel, I'd rather beat him up than either of the other two guys. <laughs> I don't want to say anything mean about the Hells Angels. They may come and get me with their bicycle chain. <laughs> but I voted for number two because even though he was mean to them at the beginning, at the end he said that they were brave fellas trying to get back on their good side. Yeah. <laughs> Barry Nelson. Well, anybody who undertakes the kind of thing he did to study them and so forth would have a lot to worry about. Number two looks worried. <laughs> Kitty. I too voted for number two. I voted for him because... Yeah. The he knew Kesey, and number one didn't know that Kesey's group was called the Merry Pranksters. And I read all about this in Tom Wolfe's piece in the Tribune, so I know all about the whole thing. <laughs> well, there we are. We'll find out now which one of these three gentlemen in truth is Hunter Thompson. Will the real Hunter Thompson please stand up? Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And much success with your book. Thank you. Number one, what is your real name and what do you really do? My name is Glenn Jacobson. I manage a new rock and roll singing duo called The Models. And number three, what is your real name and what do you do, sir? My name is Peter Hawk, and I'm a stuntman for television and motion pictures. Thank you. In checking the score, we find that the panel was a little too bright on this one. That means there were no incorrect votes, but in that case, there still is $150 coming your way, along with our sincere thanks for being with us. Good night, and God bless you.